Well, I'm in Bowness. Used to be called Borrow Stowness, a big long word, uh, and it probably is still called that because you can see that longer name on signs as you enter the town. But then somebody at one point thought to themselves, this word is too long. Let's just stick an apostrophe in there and shorten it. And so, what was a 15 letter word, borrow down this, was shortened to six letters, along with a very well used little apostrophe. <laughs> uh, I'm on the John Muir Way again, um, and today we're going to be walking from here, Bowness, through. Um, well, past Blackness Castle and um, on by Abercorn and the Hopeton Estate towards uh, Queensferry and the Three Bridges. And when you say that phrase, the Three Bridges, you have to do that with your arms. <laughs> Bonus is a lovely little place that is really worth visiting. Apart from just the pleasure of wandering around unfamiliar streets, there's an awful lot of cars have suddenly appeared in this little quiet lane. I don't know what's going on. Um, you've also got the Bowness and Canal uh, railway line. It's a short stretch that sometimes has steam trains on it, and it ends at a, I think it's a fire clay mine. And you've also got the Museum of Na uh, Scottish Railways. And both of these are major, quite wonderful attractions. Uh, you know, it, Bowness is really worth visiting. And uh, apart from anything else, you've got the Bakers, whose name has suddenly escaped me with all the activity that's going on here. And you can get the um, chicken balmoral pie. So without further ado, <laughs> let's just go. <laughs> There really is something quite wonderful about walking by a big stretch of water, whether by a river or a sea. And what I've got just on the left of me is what you might term a combination of those things, because it's where the River Forth gets wider and wider, becomes the Firth of Forth in preparation for meeting the sea. The bakers in Bowness, whose name I forgot in my opening spiel, is Oliphants. There was a queue outside it, always a sign of a good baker's. And the pies are excellent. What I also neglected to say was the many attractions in Bowness, and believe me, there's just a lot of attractions in that tiny little place, the Bowness and Canal Railway. Hello there. The Bowness and Hi guys. <laughs> A lot of growling going on there. Um, yeah, Bowness and Canal Railway, the Museum of Scottish Railways, uh, there's even a motor museum. These attractions are closed just now because of Covid, but you know, it's, it's a simple thing just to check the internet and find out when they're opening. Things are starting to open up and I suspect it won't be too long. It's not difficult just to check the web.
time for a pie. There's a wee bit of wind, so I'm just using my rucksack. I've attached it to the tripod just to give it a little additional bit of anchorage. Once you come out of Bowness, it's a nice uh, woodland track. <laughs> woodland with a lot of um, fallen mossy trees. And then as you get close to Linlith, uh, sorry, close to um, uh, Blackness, uh, it becomes a tarmac track, which I don't remember. That must have been the last few years, because the last time I did this, there wasn't that track wasn't there, and you had to kind of. It was a bit of fiddly walk along the shore, if I remember, unless I didn't notice it the last time I was here. Russell, Russell, Russell. So, in all things, the bakers. I get two chicken balmoral pies. I'll have one for my tea later on. The chicken balmoral pie, it's a um, just a mixture of chicken and haggis, which is a really delicious combination. Lots of protein. And unlike the pie that I had recently in Dumblain, I think it was a beef, chilli and tomato, which was, the contents were absolutely delicious. Uh, sort of soft and still a little bit of, sort of juice you might say in there. Whereas this can be a little bit dry. You know, it's solid, but very tasty. This is, this is the sort of pie that you would wash down with a beer, I think. So this is Black Nest Castle, just behind me. It is actually open. Yeah. Things are starting to open up now, thankfully. It's been a hell of a period ever since March, you know. Unbelievable. I'm um I'm sixty-five in a few days time. When you get to sixty-five Like that, middle age is no more, and you're now an old guy. Instantly, an old guy. It's a time for reflection. You wonder what you've done with your life, and how is it that you've come to this stage in your life so quickly? <laughs> Where have all the years gone? I'm still trying to hatch a plan here. Throughout my life I've been trying to hatch a plan to be a millionaire or whatever. And I'm still trying to hatch a plan. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. It's, um, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about changing the, the title, or the overall title for this series of uh, YouTube videos and instead of calling them Ed Explores Scotland, I'm thinking about renaming them all Old Man Walking. <laughs> Which 
What do you think? Old man walking, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to finish my lunch here and we go around this big sweeping bay through woodland in the direction of uh, the Hopeton Estate. I'll pick you up at some point there. Sticky willy bush. Each of those individual sticky willies uh, can stick to skin and clothing. I've got little hooks or barbs on the end of each bit of them. And it is a little known fact that if you were to fall into a bush of sticky willies, you would never get back out again. You would lie for a while, occasionally giving a little struggle and then you would give up and just lie there whereupon the pixies would get you. Yeah, so be very careful around sticky willy bushes. We're now in the grounds of the the Hopeton House and the Hopeton Estate, just um, and also in the area of Abercorn, which is an ancient little settlement. If you look at old maps and not even maps today, you can see that historically there was a heck of a lot of stuff going on in the area of Abercorn. There's a castle and a monastery, and just a whole load of stuff, you know, obviously um, the history of that particular area must go way, way back. The three bridges. The closer closer that you get to Queen's Ferry, the, the harder it can be to perhaps get a, a shot of all three of them together. Although they are quite close, when you're in Queen's Ferry, they're, they're kind of there's a bit a good distance between them, uh, and it's not just so easy to get a shot of, as I say, all three with me prattling into the camera at the same time. I've got a slightly misty day, so you're maybe not seeing them at their best.
Well, that's one of the three bridges. As I may have said earlier on, um, when you're in Queen's Ferry, although the three bridges are close together, when you're in Queen's Ferry, there is a, a, a distance between them and it can be difficult getting a shot that shows all three. So I thought I'd just end with a shot of the oldest bridge, the, the railway bridge. Stunning structure. So that was uh, another part of the John Muir Way between Bowness, uh, by Blackness Castle and the Hopeton Estate and uh, here to Queen's Ferry. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Eddie Burns. I'll see you again.